I think I've done all that I wanted to do. As long as I can be helpful and keep going, that, that's the, uh, the, main, the main thing. My name is uh, Clifford, but call me Cliff Crozier, and I was born on 6th of September 1915, makes me now 101. I was born uh, in Birkenhead, uh, in the Whittle, Cheshire, uh, apart from the, the war and the time I was at college, I've been all there all my life. I've been retired now for 38 years. It's just that you keep going. It's only a number. 101 is only a number. And you, you live for the day. A spot of whiskey occasionally helps although it's not on the national health. I have so many fond memories. Sometimes sit down in my chair and I think back and I try to sort of reorganize this story about these people that I have got in my mind. Emilia Teresa Harper, Teresa. It's Teresa because it's a Czechoslovakian. 103, my goodness me, a three is my lucky number. I have always been lucky. I've never been unlucky, touch wood. Oh, that's, there's wood underneath there. I was in Czechoslovakia when I, when I was a young girl and I was living with my grandparents because my father was a prisoner of war. We came over to England to be with our father when he was released from the war. Everything makes me happy. I love talking to people. I like doing things. I like going out shopping. Once I go out shopping, I don't want to come back. <laughs> I don't think there is anything that I really need to do because I've done practically everything that I ever wanted to do in the past. I've got beautiful memories, you know. I can live happily forever after because of my lovely memories. I don't feel any older than I was, what, 20, 30 years ago, uh, except with my limitations. I'm not going yet. I'm still strong. I'm very, very strong. I've never realized how strong I am. It's all the food that my mother cooked and first of all grew in the garden. I make my own bread by hand. I'll probably be making some today. We always, always had fresh food when we were youngsters, always straight from the garden, into the pan, and onto the place. Six ounces of flour, two ounces of, uh, of sugar, and four um, ounce, six ounces of, of butter. I don't have many failures. Um, if I'm making a cake and it, and it fails, it becomes a pudding. Oh, my marriage was absolutely wonderful. Heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. I wanted to marry a a handsome man and a, a man with good manners, and I had both. We, 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 we did have problems, but we got through them. And uh, I think to, uh, nowadays, uh, people give up too easily. Make the most of it, because that's, a, especially if it's a first love, it's, there's nothing like it. When I had my first children, I had twins, but unfortunately, I lost the twins, and that was the most tragic moment in my life. But I, I had a daughter, and I enjoyed her company very much indeed, loved her immensely. Any regrets? None, none whatever. I can tell you right from my heart, none whatever. I was ill at college 
and my father came to collect me and I, I, I didn't want to go back with him. I wanted to stay at the college to, with the friends for a short time. And uh, I always regretted that, that uh, my dad had made the, the journey and um, I hadn't taken it up, it is, is, uh, his offer to take me back. I didn't do the right thing by my father. That, that's the thing. Because I, I, I admired him very much. I, I never said anything. Communicate, speak with your parents and take their advice too. Or at least consider it. You don't always have to follow it. But uh, certainly uh, don't throw it out of the window. I recommend anybody, if they find the right husband, to marry. Not just live together, marry. Be closer and closer. It seems to me as if you are happy, happily married and happily living, that is the finest remedy for all ills, because you, everything is in perfect harmony. Time spent on reconnaissance is seldom wasted and be as independent as you can, but don't be reluctant to ask for help when you think you need it. Good idea is to behave well to other people, show them respect and help them as much as you possibly can and it will be repaid hundredfolds. Mm -hmm.